Exercise 3.1b, question 30. Find a simplified expression in terms of n for the sum from r equals 1 to n of negative 1 to the power of r plus 1 times r squared. And for part a, we're looking at the case where n is even. Okay, so when r is an odd number, then we're going to have negative 1 to the power of an even number. So that's going to be just positive 1. So this thing is going to be split up into two parts. So it's going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared all the way up to, uh, since n is even, it's going to be n minus 1 squared. Okay, and then it's going to be minus, and this time it's going to be all the even numbers, so 2 squared 4 squared plus 6 squared, all the way up to n squared. So that's equal to this series up here. Now, we can actually write these things themselves as series. To get an arbitrary even number, so even numbers, they look like this, 2 times r where r is an integer. So that means that we can write odd numbers as, well, 2 times r minus 1, or plus 1, doesn't matter, for r is some integer. So, well, if we want to write something about r uh, and start from r equals 1, it would make more sense to then write uh, 2r minus 1 as our odd number. So this thing is going to be the sum from r equals 1, r equals 1, of 2r minus 1 squared. And then if we substitute in r equals 1 to this thing, we get 1 squared as our first term. And then if we put in r equals 2, we get 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, so 3 squared, so on and so forth. So the only question left is, where do we stop? What is the value of r that we stop at to get the n minus 1 squared? And since n is an even number here, um, we should have n divided by 2 of these terms. And so that's where we should end up stopping at, at the integer n divided by 2. And we see that if we put r equals n divided by 2 into here, we do end up with n minus 1 squared. Okay, so that's the, well, that's this part here. And then minus, we still got to write the other one as a series. And, well, if we start from r equals 1, um, it's pretty clear this one is just going to be 2n squared, because that's our arbitrary even number. Gosh, why did I write in 2r squared? And then where do we stop? Again, we should stop at n divided by 2. Because there are n divided by 2 of these terms, these even number terms. And then from here, everything I think is nice and easy. We can use distributive rule to expand things out. So this is going to be 4r squared minus 4r plus 1 in this sum, and then minus uh, well, the sum from r equals 1 to n over 2 of 4r squared. And wouldn't luck have it, we can see that this thing here is going to cancel with this one. So really what we're left with is the sum from r equals 1 to n divided by 2 of 1, and then minus 4 times the sum from r equals 1 to n divided by 2 of r. And then so working this thing out, this one is clearly just n divided by 2. Okay, and then minus 4 times, and let's go take a look at our formula. Um, it's going to be half, and careful, n is n divided by 2 here, 
So half times n divided by 2 times n divided by 2 plus 1. And then just simplifying things down, n divided by 2 minus, looks like the 4 cancels out with everything there, n times n divided by 2 plus 1, uh, so that is n divided by 2 times 1 minus n, and then just minus n. And I guess we could probably even simplify it some more. Um, n divided by, pardon, n minus n squared divided by 2 minus 2n divided by 2. Goodness me. And so that is going to be uh, negative n, so negative, and then n plus n squared divided by 2. Did I do that right? negative n, so that would be n plus 1, divided by 2. Okay, so that takes care of part A, when n is even. Now part B, when n is odd. Uh, let me just uh, write down what we're trying to figure out here. So it is the sum from r equals 1 to n of negative 1 to the power of r plus 1 times r squared. And this time n is odd. Over here, this is what it is if n is even. Okay, so I think it's pretty clear what to do here. Let's use all our hard work from the previous problem to solve this one. And, I mean, if, if n is odd, then that means that n minus 1 is even. And this is clearly equal to the sum from r equals 1 to n minus 1 of this thing. Negative 1 to the power of r plus 1 times r squared. Plus, and then it's just the last term of this. So this would be when we put n into here. Um, since n is odd... Um, n plus 1 is even, so it's just plus n. n squared, actually, not just n. Okay, and then from here it's pretty easy because this one we can figure out immediately by just sticking n minus 1 into here. And so that's going to give us negative n minus 1 times n minus 1 plus 1, which is n divided by 2, and then plus n squared, which is the same as 2n squared, divided by 2, and then what do we get? Um, so that is, uh, we can make that 1 minus n times n plus 2n squared, divided by 2, and to me that looks like n plus n squared, divided by 2, or we can write that as n times n plus 1, divided by 2. So that's pretty interesting, because we know that that's the same as the sum from r equals 1 to n of r. So that's telling us that if n is an odd number, then this formula here is actually equal to that sum there, the sum from r equals 1 to n of r. R. I wonder if there's some spooky intuitive reason that you guys who are really good at patterns can figure out.